Thank you. Atlanta police are now releasing a new key piece of evidence in a shooting investigation near Atlantic Station that has now claimed the life of another child, a 15 year old boy. This new surveillance video appears to show a group celebrating after the crime. Yeah, police are looking for two people in connection with the deaths of those two young boys, and they're hoping that you recognize them. Liza Lucas joining us now just feet away from where that deadly shooting took place. So Liza, there have been a lot of new developments even just in the last 24 hours, including a reward. Walk us through the key points right now. Yeah, there's now $10,000 for anyone that has any information that leads up to the arrest of those shooters. And that information, they say, is really critical. They're pointing to a video. Police say shows their two prime suspects. It tracks their actions both before and after the shooting. So let's get right to it this morning. Want to give you a good look at that video they're talking about. It's captured just morning before those, just minutes rather, before the shots were fired on Saturday night. The group is seen walking along 17th Street. And in the video, police say the boy in the yellow coat coat on the bottom right is Zion Charles, a 12 year old who was killed Saturday night. He's part of that group, they say. Now, they also say that they believe the boy in the black and yellow jacket and blue jeans is the main shooter. Police are also looking for the boy in the blue hoodie with white lettering, who they believe also fired shots. Now, they say immediately after the shooting, this group went into a nearby MARTA station. They took the train to different stops. They were seen harassing passengers, flashing gang signs and showing their weapons. Police telling 11 Alive that they believe the shooting that night was specifically targeting Cameron Jackson, the 15 year old who passed by the group as he rode a scooter to Atlantic Station with two friends. All the bullets were meant for Cameron. Zion took the bullet. He's deceased on the scene. And then we have the other uh, victims that was also shot. Everything was directed to Cameron. Now, we do want to report that the other four individuals who were injured in that shooting, they have been released from the hospital. Again, police are really asking anyone with any information to come forward. You can also do so anonymously. And again, there is a $10,000 reward in connection to this case. Sending it back to you. Thank you, Liza.